نحمد الله حمدا عباده الشاكرين العابدين ونصلي ونسلم على رسولنا الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد الملائكة هاروت وماروت عليهم السلام The angels هاروت وموروت عليه السلام and the rumors that have been spreading for many many years and we're going to expose these lies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَلَمَّ جَاءُهُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّكٌ لِمَا مَعْهُمْ نَبَذَ فَرِيْكٌ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَرَاءَ ظُهُورِهِمْ كَأَنُّهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the Jews and when the messengers of Allah alayhim as-salam ajma'id came to them confirming the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirming the Quran and the Torah that came before it and some of those people casted the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behind their backs acting as if they don't know anything in more simpler terms, they refused to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what was revealed to our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They completely denied it. وَاتَّبِعُوا مَا تَتْلُوا الشَّيَاطِينَ عَلَى مُلْكُ سُلَيْمَانِ وَمَا كَفَرُوا سُلَيْمَانُ وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ كَفَرُوا يعلمون الناس السحر وما أنزل على الملكين بباب لهاروت وماروت وما يعلمان من أحد حتى يقولا إنما نحن فتنة فلا تكفر فيتعلمون منهما ما يفرقون به بين المرء وزوجه وما هم بضارين به من أحد إلا بإذن الله ويتعلمون ما يضرهم ولا ينفعهم ولقد علموا لمن اشتراه ماله في الآخرة من خلاق ولا بأس ما اشتروا به أنفسهم لو كانوا يعلمون الله سبحانه وتعالى سز and instead of following Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance, they chose to follow what the shayateen, the devils teach in regards to witchcraft. During the reign of Nabi Sulaiman alayhi salam, and they accused a Nabi of Allah, Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam, of disbelief. And it is the shayateen, those devils who have disbelieved. Ibn Umar, رضي الله عنه says that رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم was relating these lies that happened before the time in regards to Sayyidina Sulaiman and to the beloved angels the pure and obedient angels of Allah سبحانه وتعالى هاروت وماروت عليهم السلام Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said we were told about the two blessed angels Harut and Marut the people that told these lies in one version there's many versions but there's two famous ones that I believe the majority of the people know of, the, of today the story goes when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam and Adam alayhi salam committed the first sin the angels said to Allah, O oh Allah, we are more deserving of you than Sayyidina Adam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the angels, Choose two angels from amongst you to be tested. Meaning these two angels will be given the desires of the human being in them. And they will be tested. So upon choosing the two angels which are Harut and Marut alayhim salam peace and blessings be upon them the pure and obedient angels to Allah keep this in mind I'm only relating the story the lies the rumors 
that were conveyed throughout the years about these two blessed angels alayhim salam when harut and marut alayhi salam descended upon earth a woman known as az zuhra that was originally a planet she manifested herself into this beautiful woman in order to seduce them and she started to give them conditions if they wanted to have her this is how the story they claim happened so one of the conditions was if you want to have me the first condition is you must associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these two angels said by Allah we will never associate any partners to Allah and then she said the second condition while holding a small child you must kill this child and the two angels alayhim salam said by Allah we can never kill an innocent child the third one the third condition she brought a jar of alcohol wine and she told them to drink it so they looked at each other saying oh this is the the less of the two so they drank and according to this lie to the story they say after Harut and Marut drank they got drunk and fell asleep and when they woke up she was waiting for them to convey what happened to them and she said I ordered you these three and you have done all three you got drunk you associated with Allah and you killed this boy upon this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned a Zuhra into a planet and Harut and Marut were stuck in Babel to be punished this is one version of the lie that people have been telling throughout the years the second version of this story is what we just mentioned and the addition to that story is when a Zuhra the so-called planet that turned into a woman she manifested herself into a beautiful lady in order to seduce these angels alayhim salam that human desires were instilled in them she told them if you want to have me you have to give me Allah's greatest name she asked for this so for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's greatest name in order to ascend into the skies these two angels agreed to it gave her the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the greatest name that's associated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's ascribed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as she said it she started to ascend through the skies but then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cut off her wings and transformed her into a planet and Harut and Marut alayhim salam were given two options either they take their punishment in this worldly life or wait until the Akhirah on the day of judgment and they chose to be punished in this dunya in Babel that's in Iraq because the punishment of this dunya compared to the Akhirah in the hereafter is much greater brothers and sisters by Allah this is all nonsense and lies on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his pure and noble creation the Malaika the angels alayhim salam these are all lies and in that particular ayah that I have recited in the beginning of the lecture where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls Harut and Marut angels angels and does not ascribe to them any evil any attributes of evil they are angels and they obey what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them to do you have to keep in mind the angels of Allah are not but messengers and they carry out the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing their innocence in this ayah where he calls them angels alayhim salam peace and blessings upon them let's go back to the ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said before I do that I would like to say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can never be questioned 
for what His Majesty decrees. What we do is to try to understand the wisdom behind these ayat and whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees in order to get closer to Him and to understand this worldly life, this dunya for what it really is and to understand what to avoid what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates and to come closer to what He loves subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given an Nabi, the Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam the control of the winds, the labor of the shayateen, and the language of animals and the birds, and so much more. So during the reign of the Nabi Sulaiman alayhi salam, the shayateen used to tell and spread lies amongst the people of Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam. They used to tell the people, do you know how an Nabi Sulaiman got this power it's not through the authority of prophethood but through witchcraft that he does so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to teach the people the difference between the miracles of prophethood and in order to differentiate between this prophethood and the miracles that come along with it and what is witchcraft. So the two noble and pure angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ones that are obeying the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Harut and Marut alayhim salam, were sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to earth to expose what the shayateen, the devils of man and jinn teaching people witchcraft. They came and taught the people what witchcraft is and told them that we are the angels of Allah. We are here as a trial. We are here as a fitna. You learn what this is so you can avoid it. But if you want to learn it so you can advance in it, you will be destroyed. And unfortunately, most of mankind until this very day have learned this witchcraft in order to do all types of evil and one of the main evils that people love to do today is to separate to divorce husband and wife in order to destroy these marriages and to separate these families and I know this is not something new to the majority of the people listening to this lecture but our main concern right now is the two noble angels Harut and Marut alayhim salam again the ones that are pure and noble and obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not these lies that are told about them that we mentioned in the beginning of this lecture I would like to mention again the noble angels of Allah alayhim salam Harut and Marut were sent down to teach the people in order to differentiate between the miracles of prophethood because them labeling Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam able to do all these miraculous things is through witchcraft but in reality it is the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they can differentiate between prophethood and witchcraft and they did not teach anyone before warning them that this is a trial a test from Allah avoid it, stay away from it. It was in order to expose the evil so they can understand what is witchcraft and what are the miracles of Allah. And again, people chose to follow the devils, the witchcraft and this destruction. And they were warned, if you continue to do this, if you come close to this, you will earn the displeasure of Allah and be sent to hellfire forever. We were put on this dunya to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His commands. His Quran that was revealed upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with his understanding. If we choose to follow this, we will be the awliya, we will be the close friends and slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and for those that refuse to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there is no third option in reality you accept to be the friends of shaitan and there is no third option it's either iman or disbelief it's either iman or kufr I kept this lecture very nice and short and straight to the point آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كلنا من بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير the messenger firmly believes in what has been revealed to him from his Lord Subhanahu, and so do the believers they all believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his angels alayhim as salam and his books and his messengers they proclaim we make no distinction between any of his messengers and they say we hear and obey we seek your forgiveness our Lord and you alone is the final return so know that all of the angels Harut and Marut السلام, all of them that we know of and don't know of are noble and pure and only do the commands of Allah and it is nonsense to believe these lies about the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these are all fabricated by the shayateen of the humans and the jinn in order to confuse mankind from the message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was revealed to us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better and best Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen